any go back and watch you might get something out of them and these days the readings seem to be linked to each other they seem to be calling back to older readings and keep in mind these are just general readings which means it's sort of a sort of a way of using the cards to say I don't know who needs to hear this but and then I just throw the message out there so if it doesn't resonate with you that's fine if it does, however, drop a little comment. Maybe hit that little thumbs up button. <laughs> uh, also, tomorrow will be Full Scale Friday where we do an, uh, the big reading. The one for the weekend. And those are very similar to how I do your personal readings. And if you would like one, a whole bunch of good stuff in the description down below. Be sure to check that out. I think you'll uh, you'll find something in there that you will either want, need, or like. And keep in mind, for the eBay shop and the tea store, which is uh, probably about maybe an hour's walk for me, I'm not being paid to advertise. I just, they've always treated me well, and uh, their product is very, very good. So be sure to check them out. Tell them Raven sent you. All right, let's get down to it. So I'm gonna remove my little moonstone here and see who our guide is for the day. Looks like we got the void. So nothing, nothing has been decided. There's only Ganunga Gap today, which is great. That's actually pretty. It's a pretty good thing, because it means anything goes. And when anything goes, that means the power really resides in your hands today. And remember, the whole week we've been talking about building personal power, both ethically and slowly over time. Never forgetting the lessons of the past, but not dwelling in the past. That's very important. And so what animal of nature are we looking at today? Here we go again. Good old dragonfly. Truth transcending illusion. I'm thinking this is going to be pretty big. Despite this being a, a normal reading, I think this is going to be a little bigger than in scope. 
So, let's see how this pertains to you today. With the good old past, the present, and the future. Okay, so, we got the Nine of Coins there. So, we've had some prosperity in the past. We've got an Ace of Cups, which has some new emotional uh, beginnings. And finally, a Six of Swords. Six of Swords here. We got a couple hands holding on to some water. A couple of the magician's hands, no less, holding on to some water, and it's just kind of uh, tripping through his fingers. We can all relate to that. We've done that before. Trying to get a drink out of the lake or something like that. I don't know about you, but that's something I did as a kid. And let me tell you what, I turned out just fine. I think these days parents would be like, no, no, don't let my child do something like that. Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> trust and believe. Get a life straw if you're uh, really, really, uh, if you're really kind of bent about that. So, let's see. We have a Six of Swords. That's one I don't think I've come across before. Or have I? I don't know. We're about to find out what that Six of Swords really means, though. But, let me tell you something. For that Six of Swords, it's time to cut and run. Okay, so, here's the thing. <clears throat> I've been saying it. Others have been saying it. Sometimes. Now this relationship could mean partnership with someone else. Meaning you and your significant other. It could mean your job. It could mean a family member. It could mean a friend. Or an acquaintance. Doesn't matter. But what I'm seeing is you're in one of those relationships where if you want that new beginning in the Ace of Cups and you want to preserve the abundance and the happiness you've got out of the Nine of Coins you're gonna have to cut and run <clears throat> from the toxicity of that relationship with the Six of Swords. See here's the thing if you've really gone all in for a fight it's often tempting to consider any kind of retreat as like a cowardly loss, but this card, the Six of Swords here, urges you to take another look. Because the mess you're in, uh, take a look at that mess you're in and ask yourself, is there really anything productive to be accomplished here? Well, I can tell you this much, there's not. Because it's one of the sword suit, it's a healthy dose of logic inherent in this card. So we, we see that water pooled in the hands and you lean forward and you take a moment to reflect upon yourself that six is telling you to take a step back this is a moment to decide just how sizable that step needs to be sometimes it's a mental step just stepping back from the argument sometimes though you need an actual physical change of scenery the swords can't the six of swords can't tell you how far to run it can only tell you that you need to that there's a major shift in the situation for you to resolve and that discretion is a better part of valor sometimes escaping is the bravest thing you can do it's serious so the six of swords is going to be you taking a moment of self-reflection and saying honestly that relationship that you're in right now that um, things don't seem to be going well for you Maybe it's time to cut it. Maybe it's time to take a step out of it. You know, just step back, kind of look at it. Look at the whole board for a second. Is this a 
Is this anything that you can get anything out of it? Is there anything constructive in it? And the answer, unfortunately, with that Six of Swords is there's not. <clears throat> you might have built the illusion that, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with this situation. It's fine. But you're not. Time to be honest with yourself. You can't be honest with anyone else until you're honest with yourself. So, how does the universe dictate that we handle this? Or how do they suggest we handle it? We've got karmic relationships, so this is where your soul growth is. You've also got some polarity and conflict, so I'm seeing that today. I'm definitely seeing the conflict here. You've got a lifting the veil, so here's where you question everything. Anything unaligned with your core beliefs, your core values, must go. And finally, this is where you're going to have to give this one over. Fall into my arms. Not mine. The arms of the universe. This is where you're going to have to hold the... You're holding on to some opposites and extremes of life. Yeah, that's what it takes for us to kind of grow sometimes those extreme situations. And you might be in an extreme situation right now. I know I am. We, uh, we have a lot going on where I work. And right now, what bottleneck existed has now been tightened and constricted. So we are really, really dealing with it, you know, especially this week. <clears throat> but what I'm seeing right here in the, in the Starseed Oracle is you're going to have to you're gonna to have to lift that veil you're gonna to have to pull back the curtain see the man operating the levers and the little dials and everything that's the great and powerful laws ladies and gentlemen is he real or is he fake that's something you have to find out also these comic relationships you're in I'm thinking it's about time that you got you cashed in some of those good karma points because quite frankly you've cashed in enough bad ones okay so let's go to the runes get a little more of this picture so lining up with that nine of coins with that prosperity that happiness that over a and not really over abundance it's not an excess it's everything you've ever wanted or needed well that's present right here in the wealth of Fehu. We also have Ivaz again, which tells you death is a necessary part of life. You are coming to the end of that cycle. And you're going to have to set up some clear boundaries here. You can't just go all in anymore. You have to take some calculated, measured approaches. Use your logic a little bit this time. And of course, Kenaz. In light of everything here, your way is completely lit and clear. The torches have been lit. And those torches could very well be other people. In fact, I'm seeing it as the, those torches are other people. And I think the reason that the void came up and made it to the point where nothing was truly decided... was because it's really being put into your hands today. It really is. This is the point. See, the, the spirits are kind of funny things. They're not helicopter parents. They don't sit there and say, oh no, little Johnny, no, no, no. You can't do that. You may get hurt. They're telling you, look, right now you have the experience necessary you have all the tools that you need. You're seeing everything clearly. It's now to take it's time to take all that and proceed yourself. You're going to have to grow up a little here. We can't do everything for you. And that's especially true. But what I'm seeing here is that the the happiness that you really seek is going to come into something new, but you have to cut the old first. You have to cut that toxicity out. 
your karmic relationship is going to require you to literally tear away the curtain and let whatever comes come. You're going to have to set some boundaries and let others know that's not something I want. That's not something that, that works for me. That's not something that aligns with my core values and beliefs. And one of two things will happen. Either one, that will be respected. Or two, it won't. And if it won't, you know, this is the direction I'm headed. You're headed this way. I'll see you somewhere else. Sometimes you have to make those cuts. And there's nothing particularly wrong with that. In fact, it's a, it's a good thing to cut some people out from time to time, especially if they're interfering with your project, if they're um, subjecting you to extremes in life that really aren't productive, they're not helping anything. Because right now, you've built your power, but you've had it tested yesterday, but now, this is what you need to be. You need to be that light for others as well, but you can't do that if you're not lit up yourself. See what I'm saying? And that was my summary. All the truth is going to transcend that illusion. A literal text of the dragonfly spirit there. We may think of the dragonfly as just another bug. But believe one thing. There is some insane biology to that dragonfly. And it's absolutely beautiful. In fact, there's a YouTube video of it. I saw it in my... Uh, recommended feed. I haven't watched it yet, but um, I did a little digging on it and just kind of found out a few things about the dragonfly that I thought was, I thought they were really interesting. I challenge you to do it yourself. Go dig up that video on the insane biology of the dragonfly. Do a little research on the dragonfly. See what the dragonfly does. And watch what happens. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing your morning with me. Thank you for having your cup of tea or your morning beverage, whatever it is, even if it's a wild cherry Pepsi or a, you know, a vanilla Coke or an orange vanilla Coke. Cola, I should say. Not advertising brands, really. Kind of used to just saying them. In any case, I love you all. Thank you for some. Thank you so much for being here. If I could get my words straight today, that would be awesome. Know that I appreciate all of you who show up, who comment, who drop a like. Be that torch that lights the way for others, and never forget to shine on.